people don't know is that the original term cowboy was a derogatory term. See, the white man was the cattle man. The black man was the cowboy. He used to say, hey, boy, go get that cow there, cowboy. People that weren't black that were called cowboys, it was an insult. They would call them ranch hands, cow punch, or whatever. But a cowboy was a name exclusively, exclusively for the black people or the slaves that took care of the, of the cows. And then when the name got to be so popular, did the whites start calling themselves cowboy also. So what became a nickname, what was a nickname for a black, became a popular name for all the cowboys. So it must have been something about the way the original cowboys did their job that made that term become popular, or it made it be an honor to be a cowboy. Right. <clears throat> I want to give all praise to see how Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Hakwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom Lab Aquarium, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, okay, which in his name means he is. Bashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, which is in the name of the only begotten Son who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins, all right, and that consists of the children of Israel consists of you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, all right, if you didn't get the memo yet, because the word is spreading abroad. Okay, Bashim Hakwadash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the spirit of truth, the understanding that breathes life into us. Okay, Shalom Lab Aquarium basically means peace to the elect, those that'll be slated to be delivered in these last days out of that nation of Israel. Okay, and uh, you just saw it, you know, how the truth comes out about who were the original cowboys and where that name stemmed from, okay? Just like the word nigger, okay, or nigger, all right? At first, it started off as a derogatory term. You know, our people were mad that we were being called that, you know? Then all of a sudden, you know, it becomes a, a household name, if you will, all right? Now white people running around calling themselves nigger, saying my nigger, how you, and calling each other nigger and all this all right? If the world was to go on for another hundred years, you white people would say that they invented that shit too. You so-called you so called white people, I should say. You Edomites, okay? Now, I want to go into the scripture first and foremost. Uh, this is Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. Right, now when you go into this word here... <clears throat> This word, uh, I'm sorry. When you go into this word by word, okay, for those that don't know, this is a sharp word, sharp cutting word, taunt, a jibe, right? And you take a look at what this word jibe means. All right. <clears throat> There it goes. It says, an insulting or mocking remark, a taunt, a jibe at his old rivals. Okay? Yeah, and that's what that whole, whole term of cowboy started from. And just like many other uh, derogatory terms that the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are known for. Okay? But then they become household names. They, then they become, you know, something that the so-called white man wants to attach himself to. Like, for instance, all these different uh, organizations, these sports teams. Like, for instance, there was a big thing about the Redskins, okay? And uh, you have the Cleveland Indians, and, you know, there's different sports teams that use these derogatory terms, which the word Indian is a derogatory term as well, but they walk around. The so-called white man calls himself an Indian nowadays, okay? And uh, the so-called white man would call us uh, engines, Okay? Which that was another derogatory term, which what fits the children of Israel, man. All right. But nevertheless, even through that, you know, the scriptures tell you this it says Deuteronomy chapter 51 and 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the form of all things. And Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Now, the, the portion of Jacob. All right. Is the most high Yahweh. All right. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is not like them, which is. Right? 
Who's that not like them? Talking about the other nations and their gods. For he's the form of all things, right? Now, the Most High is the form of all things. That's our power. But because the Most High established the children of Israel to be what? Is Israel is the rod of his inheritance, okay? That's the Most High's heritage, if you will, okay? When the children of Israel are on earth, they're supposed to be in representation of the Heavenly Father, all right? It says the Lord of hosts is his name. Yahweh is his name. Okay? So being that we're the children of Israel, that makes us also too the form of all things. So you can understand. Why? Because all these major inventions, okay, all these uh, 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 creations and, you know, basically ideas, these major ideas, all right, come from who? Our people, man. All right? All the tribes, too, not just the so-called Negroes, not just the so-called blacks. All the tribes come up with major inventions, man, okay, and come up with these uh, categories that the rest of the world wants to be like, and they want to mimic, but nevertheless, it was a, a derogatory term at first, man, okay, and the, the concept of a cowboy is just one of many, all right, because you so-called white people, you Esau, Edom, you like to take credit for every everything, man. Okay, the world is going to find out, guess what, that the children of Israel, all right, are not so-called white people neither. Okay, the world is confused on who the Israelites are, who Jacob is, all right, but they're going to soon find out, just like people are finding out all these other things that you so-called white people stole, rock and roll, and uh, 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 country music, all right, they, they basically steal everything, man, okay, you got Michael Jackson basically being uh, bleached and whitewashed. Sammy Sosa. So why? Throughout time, they can tell their stories to make it seem like they were those people. Just like Shakespeare or the Dark Ages and the people of the scriptures, man. All right? King James, the majority of the world believes that King James is a so-called white man. Okay? Why? Because the scriptures tell you that he's a uh, uh, the thief. He's a thief and a robber, man. Okay? Esau, Edom, you so-called white people. You, hey, you tried to steal the birthright, man. <laughs> okay? These people are still any fucking thing, man. Anything that's popular, anything that's going to make money, you know? Because probably back then, through extrapolation, you know, you probably had the top cowboys making, all of a sudden starting to make top money. So they wanted to run with that name, man. Okay? The, the concept of rap or hip-hop, if you will. Once upon a time, uh, hip-hop, rap especially in the early 90s, it was considered like a, 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 a bad vibration to the rest of the world. Like, you know, you had pastors coming up against it. You know, you had a, a, a lot of older people coming up, a, up against the concept of hip hop. You know, you had white people on, or, on um, getting mad that their children were listening to it and then committing like, you know, murders and all kind of, you know, atrocities and things of that nature. But now, guess what? They trying to get into those. They trying to get into that industry. They trying to take that industry over. They trying to be the rappers now, if you will. Okay, but a lot of them are Israelites too. But you do got some of them that are straight up Edomites, man. Okay, acting. All right. But the script, the world's gonna know that Jacob is the form of all things, man. And this, in this time that we're living in, the time of information, where the scriptures tell you what, that which knowledge shall increase. Okay, the origin of things are going to man make manifest. Okay? Now, let's go back. Another scripture I want to get is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 8. When the Most High have divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. Okay, who's the sons of Adam? The Hamites, which is the so-called Africans. The Moabites, the Ammonites, which is the so-called Chinese and Japanese. We got the Elamites, which is the East Indians over there in India, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran. All right. You got the Ishmaelites, which majority of them in uh, North Africa. Okay, the Palestinians. Okay. Those people are the Ishmaelites, and they know that they're Ishmaelites, and those are the sons of Adam. And the Most High separated those people, man. He made them different. All right. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Now, if you have a portion, that's your segment. That belongs to you. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Okay? 
that's our, our portion is the Heavenly Father, and the Heavenly Father's portion is his people, man. The children of Israel, you so-called Negroes and Native, uh, Native Americans and Hispanics, all right? Not the so-called white man that's dwelling in the land of Israel today, okay? Uh, another scripture I want to get. <clears throat> this is Matthew chapter 5 and 13. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savior, meaning his flavor, wherewith shall he be salted? It is, it is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden underfoot. Right, because our people, they get a glory which is not theirs. All right? The, our glory is supposed to be towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's how we're going to be made a people again. Okay, when we give the glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, not getting our own glory. That's why all the things that we come up with get, basically gets trodden underfoot. You have uh, Black Wall Street, which consisted of you so-called Negroes and also to the so-called Seminole Indians, which is the tribe of Reuben. And what happened to that? It got trodden underfoot. Why? Because they weren't given the glory unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All the so-called great leaders, all these so-called great inventors, what happens? The patents get taken, all right? The patents get taken and it basically gets sold to a so-called white man. And he takes all the credit as his, he's the, of the brain of the organization, if you will. So everything that we do gets trodden underfoot. Why? Because we lost our savor. Although we still are shining, so to speak, man. All right? Even though we're pale face, man. So you can understand. All right? Even though we're pale face, we still shining, man. Okay? And the world is going to realize that we are the children of Israel. We are the chosen people of the Heavenly Father. Okay? One more scripture. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Meaning what? The children of Israel made a covenant through Moses. The Most High made a covenant through Moses to the children of Israel, right? And he didn't change that he chose those people to be the children of the Most High. Okay? Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Meaning what? The Most High is not going to forget the children of Israel. Okay? Another one. This is the book of Romans, chapter 10. Sorry. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, hath the Most High cast away his people? The Most High forbid. Because it seems like, yeah, we being casted away. We ain't getting no recognition. We getting shot down in the street. Okay? They fucking up our water systems. They, they are taking over the lands that we inhabited. All right? Before they funky ass got over here. All right? For I am also... For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham. This is Paul speaking of the tribe of Benjamin. The Most High have not cast away his people, which is he foreknew. What ye not, what the scriptures say of, of Elias, how he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars and have left alone and they seek my life. That's right, man. All right. Because the Most High speaks to the children of Israel through the prophets, though the children of Israel, they were you know, murder the prophets, man. Okay? But the prophets are back now and the prophets are going to win in these last days. And that's what it's about. It's not about seeking our own glory. So, you know, I just brought that little segment out, you know, about the original cowboys. You know, figured it'd be a good thing to show, you know, and for our brothers that are, you know, first coming into the truth, brought out some scriptures, you know, even, you know, whoever, you know, you know, would be edified <clears throat> to receive this word and and have a clearer understanding of what's going on out here, man. Okay? Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Hakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom La Bukwayo. Peace to the elect. Shalom. that the original term cowboy was a derogatory term. See, the white man was the cattle man. The black man was the cowboy. He used to say, hey, boy, go get that cow there, cowboy. People that weren't black that were called cowboys, it was an insult. They would call them ranch hands, cow punch, or whatever. But a cowboy was a name exclusively, exclusively 
for the black people or the slaves that took care of the, of the cows. And then with the name got to be so popular, that the whites started calling themselves cowboy also. So what became a nickname, what was a nickname for a black, became a popular name for all the cowboys. So it must have been something about the way the original cowboys did their job that made that term become popular or it made it be an honor to be a cowboy.